Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Let's Play as a 13 Colonies where we're getting close to forming Britannia guys. It's doable, we just need to end this war and core. Um, I'm hoping we can get it ended very shortly though, but I don't think we can. Uh, guy who's moving up to Perugia, he's still good and still no, unfortunately still no support for you. Uh, you guys are sieging down, fine. Screw this. Detach. Move on. Via him and kill him. You. Detach. And. Move on up here. Probably actually start invading them soon. I don't know what would they consider good. You know, their good land, their land that they want to print money, no. In 1779, so we're running a bit late, the military situation was severe, but the economic situation was even worse. The Congress was not yet an efficient vehicle of governments and members of it let printing press as run freely. The money was needed, uh, but the effect was growing in place and the usage of the printing press was a collective decision of the body of men responsible could have. Uh. Print more money, 500 ducks isn't gonna bother me. Lose 50 ducats, lose inflation, lose ad uh, gain admin power. Yeah, it sounds better for me, admin power. Stupid Hansens. Excellent year. More manpower. So manpower reserves have dropped severely. Another guy who's walking. Just him. You guys merge up, you become a 14 stack. Come take out this 10 stack. And our leader, by the way, Charles, is doing this. Because I want him dead. Siege is over. Siege of Illinois has been won. Did you guys start heading up? Getting me some more vision so we know that the capital is safe to siege. You. Attach enough to siege and move on. Siege of Haran is finally over. Hooray! You're moving up there. You're not large enough to start fighting that. That's have actually got a reasonable, I say reasonable, a tiny army sat waiting for us. Just move on to Ottawa while these guys catch up. Drop a siege, which is going to be mainly Cav. I'll do that manually because it won't let me do it otherwise. Detach. Move on. It's done it again. Uh. Select army. Create a new unit. Put two of you down. Select and move. It can siege! Oh, what a freaking surprise! We lost the Battle of Manhattan. Are you freaking kidding me? Right, you. New unit. Split you guys off. Select this unit. You'll be going back to Pendragon, so you meet up there. The idea was to kill the freaking Hansons, not you're given more reasons to want to stay in the battle. Come down here, you. New unit. Drop off some of you. Select you. Move on. You just come straight down there and join in that battle. Getting you guys out of the war by a white piece of concession of defeat. Be very useful. Where the hell are you heading? Centene? Really? Felt the need to run all the way back there, not just to the capital. Select a large review, move down here. The rebels aren't really 
primary concern, but I do want them dead. England, your war enthusiasm should be really low. It is. See for peace. This is what I'd want. Them too. How far away are we at 12%? Need at least 10, so that's a thousand. 1,100 we can ignore, because we know we're going to need as much war score as we're going to be asking for. So we're only 14 away. Fifteen, eighteen. Maybe we had Derby, so that we can do that. What sort of diplo points are we looking at now? Zero diplomatic power, and zero inflation. Maybe a douche and just. How much for all of England? It's only forty-five. You give up England, we give up England for forty freaking five. And once we form Great Britain, we'd at least gain a claim on all of it. Oh, that'd be tremendous overextension, but we're not going to be doing that. But... Dear God. I'm surprised. How are we looking at you guys when you meet back up? Siege of Manhattan has fallen. To be honest, because you're doing that, then the Dutch aren't coming. You want peace. Decline. You guys merge up. Start marching to his 7 stack. And you arrive the 19th. Should he hold back for a month? We hit 4th. Uh, consolidate down. And attack with 24 stacks. That should easily kill it. And President enacted a PRI You just reminded me I was very, supposed to be ferrying troops back and forth, weren't I? Wasn't I even? Oh, Sweden has declared war on you. When you should really want peace now. Try at least get a concession of defeat? No. Right, your suggested demands you won't give me. Currently have zero. Screw it, yeah, I'll take your money. You can stay there, you're a factor of the... Hands are out of the war. Fine. How's that affected our war score? That's a lot of England unseaged. Yep. Oh, sorry, a lot of Britannia unseaged. You're going to come up here and start dealing with a five stack. That's a larger number than I'd like them to have. Then the three, then the one. Most of the English lands we can now see, thanks to my little sort of scouting sieges. That's a term that doesn't make much sense. Uh, if I click detach enough to siege, it's going to do stupid again. So select army. Uh, and I know what I'm leaving is stupid. But, in a stupid and more sensical way. Probably get away with just clicking the detached siege now. I'd rather have the army that's moving on be the correct composition than the army that I've left behind. Oh, you're going to run away? Chase it down then, because I don't want him... Okay, that's really dumb of you. I mean, you're gonna win that battle, yes. But you're not gonna escape again, are you? Are you? No. Create a new unit. Select off some cavalry. Select siege. Move on. Siege has been won, which means you can move on to this rebel stack. Um, that's not the way around I thought I was moving them. But... 
Bind you up. Create a new army. Select this one and you move. Thank you. A reasonable composition to fight these guys, but not really as much as I would like. 14 stack of rebels. Dutch Patriots. That's what you're probably actually going to have to go down and deal with. Because who are you actually? Turkey. May declare independence in four months. Where do they have sieged up? American revolutionaries. So any of the Cherokee ones, I believe, that was actually declaring independence on its creek. Oh, if I declare independence, I just annex them back. I shouldn't get any overextension for it, I wouldn't think. We're already going to be sieging a good chunk of it back. Screw it. 49%. If you can, quickly... The day before I got there. It happens so much in this sudden game. Annoyingly amount so much, actually, I would say. Where are we looking? We are training up troops, but eventually the capital should fall. It'll take a freaking age. At the moment, we can't even get the possibility of defenders deserting. <laughs> oh god. It's only 50% chance any real any real progress will be made. France has declared war on England. I saw that and I thought, oh crap, France has declared war on me. But no, on England. So it's just a matter of gaining war sky. To be honest, it was just a matter of gaining war sky anyway. So we can't start taking out the actual nationalist armies. Kill the Dutch Patriots. You start coming down here because that's a Cree one, yes. You can really do with regenning. You can just sit there and siege. But you've had a month. So not a month or two because. Actually, the Cree nationalists are. Now 29 months. Chickasaw nationalists. In nine months. Okay, well, which ones are you at Chickasaw? So let's go back to Tuscany. You ignore the Scottish and come up here. And that should affect when they're going to be. So I think as soon as we start sieging them back, they're no longer possible revolting Scottish Patriots. But which defect? Must be that one. So I need someone on there quickly. It's good to know though that as soon as I'm sieging it back, that the rebel threat stops. I thought I had to unsiege it in that time. You. So you're all the way up to Chippeway Creek, so that's going to make it so I can see everything up there. And, okay, that's sorted out our rebel problem. Because we're sieging stuff back at least. You, keep chasing him down, please. Battle of Ottawa lost? I'm an idiot. You. Come back up to Niggerar after you've done that. Hopefully you'll wipe them. 
think he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, the battle's going to be lost. And fair enough, other sieges I'm winning. Really didn't expect that I'd get that. See, that doesn't line up properly. That's the border! I'm moving into the same border! This is 3,000 there, but you're of a semi reasonable composition. It's only 1,000, so you're marching through them is quite. Oh, no, no, march through them! It was clear you should have been marching through them! You come up and join him. Actually, yeah, match through him. And join up here and just form like a bit of a barrier. So that our area that we're sieging up is safe. You come and kill him. Revolt in Lothian. Brush it. Got one there. Should be okay to quick siege right back. No! Defenders a thousand. Position we need to do this ourselves. Select army, create a new unit, small one, large one. Select you, move on. Crush the stacks. Don't let them siege. We need to unsiege, don't let them siege more. Siege here has been won. Okay, move up to Swampy Cree. You guys actually just like, can't you can't siege? It's level, oh, level two actually, once you reinforce you can. We have a little battle one, we're up to four percent. Good. Actually now for siege is in our favour. Battles is still tremendously against us. I like this. Oh yes, you've lost so much war score due to battles. Sorry. I think tactically I've won still, haven't I? Yo, know, the army is effectively defeated. It's small remnants of what it used to be. I made some bad moves. I lost some big battles, but they're not that big to me, if that makes any sense. You know, I could have lost more of them like that. Okay, that's all of you. So if you want to attach enough to siege, still give yourself a reasonable composition and come at him. Siege drop back. Come up there then. I forgot that that's also a way that we join up. And you finished sieging. Where did you finish sieging? You come up here. I believe that's the quickest route. It's fine if it is. Doesn't look like it. Well, the Swampy Cree was won. Whiskey Rebellion. Get straight up peasants or increase revolt risk. These straight up peasants, I know I can kill. The peasants aren't going to be hard to kill. Increased revolt risk could give me a revolt which is more likely to be hard to kill. A crapper engaged me. Run away. You. Attach and run. And you can't actually, it's not enough, so stay there. You, run away. Run away, just don't die. You actually ran the way that I told you to, lovely. Gonna try and siege it back, but okay, we lost in Swampy Cree. And when did Bungie fall and when did I move on from it? I don't remember doing that. You and you. Yeah. Come up and kill that. Change of plan. How are we looking on our numbers? Basically at our limit. Merge up. 
kill the army, come down here, siege that last bit up. This is effectively pushed back out of our own territory into theirs, so... Merchant bankrupt. I'm gonna save him. Don't care. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's all the time we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Goodbye.